Me too. Thank you so much. Yeah, we thought that coming sooner it's always better than later. No, especially because we might not have much, uh, you know, open sky. So yeah. Yes. So we are not under very, but uh, let me let me say. Ladies and gentlemen, the Embassy Marine Security Guard Detachment will now present the colors. Doamne lor și domnilor, vom cumări acum ceremonia de prezentare a drapelului de către deșartamentul infanteriei marine responsabil de paza ambasadei. Gentlemen, the representative marching band of the Romanian Armed Forces will now perform the national anthem of Romania. Doamne lor și domnilor, fanfara forțelor armate romane va intona imnul Romaniei. Members of the diplomatic corps, members of the government, honored guests. 
thank you so much for braving the elements to come out and share Independence Day with us tonight. On behalf of the President of the United States, Barack Obama, and on behalf of the American people, welcome to the U.S. Embassy in Bucharest. It's a pleasure to host this Independence Day celebration in our new chancery on a small piece of America within this great country. And it's wonderful to see the embassy, however rainy, decorated in red, white, and blue. In 1776, our country's founders signed the Declaration of Independence, establishing a nation based on equality and on freedom. This evening, we honor our founding fathers' patriotism and sacrifice, and we commit ourselves to live up to their democratic ideals and values. We are proud of our history and are honored to celebrate it tonight with you. Our democracy is a work in progress. Each generation must strive to perfect the values of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. With each succeeding generation, we have come closer to embodying the democratic vision of our founding fathers as equal rights have been extended to workers, women, and minorities. Embracing diversity and tolerance has made us stronger. In the present generation, we have made tremendous strides towards equality for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. Their rights are human rights. Their struggle is a new civil rights movement in the United States and around the world. In the past two months, we've seen visits from Vice President Biden, Secretary of Defense Hagel, Secretary of the Navy Mavis, and two Senate delegations. These visits demonstrate how much the United States value places on our strategic partnership. At the core of our partnership are the democratic values that the United States and Romania share. Romania has made outstanding progress fighting corruption, building independent institutions, and creating a society in which all are equal under the law. And we want to help Romania maintain this progress. Above all, the United States wants Romania to succeed. We want Romania to thrive, for its economy to flourish, for trade and investment to grow. Transparency, stability, and predictability are the key to realizing Romania's economic potential and increasing wealth and prosperity. The United States and Romania are already close economic partners. We have invested billions of dollars in Romania since 1990, leading to the creation of many thousands of jobs. With the adoption of a transatlantic trade and investment agreement between the United States and the European Union, trade between our countries will be even easier. Our commitment to one another within NATO continues to deepen. Construction of the missile defense site in Devicello is on track and on budget for completion in 2015. And our joint naval, air, and ground training has intensified in the face of Russia's illegal occupation of Crimea. As Vice President Biden said when he was here, we honor our sacred commitment to our NATO allies' defense. In your 10 years since joining NATO, you've made valuable contributions to the alliance. On June 29th, Romania officially ended its 12-year combat mission in Afghanistan. You've truly been our ally there and Romania's brave soldiers are our comrades in arms. I was honored and proud to accompany the Prime Minister to Kandahar last weekend to congratulate your troops on the successful completion of their mission. The United States profoundly appreciates the heroism, sacrifice, and selfless service of the brave men and women of Romania's armed forces. Nearly 25,000 Romanian troops and over 250 gendarmes have nobly served in Afghanistan. The costs have been high. 23 Romanian soldiers paying the ultimate price, and 129 wounded in action. America recognizes and honors their sacrifice and that of their families through a decade of war. I've been fortunate now to serve two rewarding tours in Romania, getting to know this beautiful country and its people. I'm encouraged by what I've seen and what I've learned. While challenges remain to be overcome, Romania should be proud of what it's accomplished in the 25 years since the Resolute Revolution. I'm sad to be leaving in a matter of days, but my successor is already here. Dean Thompson is an experienced and highly decorated diplomat, and I know I'm leaving you in very good hands. I know that he'll have his rewarding assignment here as I have, so welcome, Dean. I mentioned Romania's incredible physical beauty, but again, what makes a country really beautiful is its people and its values. I've been privileged to work with so many extraordinary Romanians, among them dedicated soldiers, talented public servants, 
fearless police prosecutors and judges, courageous journalists, and untiring social activists fighting for justice, seeking the truth, and promoting positive change. Together with Romania's exceptionally talented youth, they are building a vibrant society and a prosperous democracy. To conclude, Romania's future is full of promise. Its democratic path, its transatlantic partnership with the United States, and its place in Europe are the perfect platform for the patriotism, hard work, and determination of its people. Your strength, stability, and prosperity will continue to be a model for countries in this region. Thank you, success, and happy Independence Day. It's now my distinct pleasure to welcome to the podium the Prime Minister of Romania, Victor Monti. Your Excellency, Chargé d'Affaires, Mr. Butcher, Mrs. Butcher, distinguished representatives of the U.S. Embassy here in Bucharest, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor. And uh, I'm very proud and happy to be here tonight to express on behalf of the Romanian government our uh, deep appreciation, our warm friendship, and our trust in the future of our relationship. It is already the third year in a row in which I represent the Romanian government and the Romanian people for the 4th of July event which is actually on the 3rd of July, but uh, thinking about the weather, believe me, if I think back to 2012, I think it's much sunnier right now, and uh, I can feel it. And uh, I have promised to my friend, Wei, that I will be here also next year for the 4th of July, and I hope that he will be here also, despite all the new offices and jobs that we might have. I am here just to underline once again how important it is for Romania the strategic partnership that we have and enjoy with the United States. It's something that I have mentioned in Washington, in Bucharest, in Constanza, where I met Secretary Hegel, but I have also said it in Kandahar, where Romania and Romanian soldiers have paid such a high tribute of lives and blood just to show that Romania is a reliable partner and Romania is a safer country because we have this partnership and because we have so brave soldiers ready to serve their country. I think that, and I dare to say that, the special partnership with the United States have always been very important for Romania. But I am glad to see that and to feel and that, that now it's very important also for the United States. And uh, I would say that based on the excellent relationship that we have developed, first of all, of course, on uh, political and strategic issues here in this region of the Black Sea, but also in a very much troubled Middle uh, East region. And uh, I think that uh, the United States involvement in this new situation where aggression and dangers and risks for peace, for uh, international law and cooperation in the area is much valued by Romania and by all the countries in the region. I would use this opportunity just to thank very much for the importance and the involvement of the United States in helping our neighbor and the closest in all ways, neighbor of Romania, Moldova, in its decision towards democracy, towards European integration. And I can assure the United States that Romania is going to be an honest and committed partner for Moldova, for Ukraine, for Georgia, for all the countries who have decided to go on the democracy and pro-European path. I would also mention that since we took office two years and a half ago, we have tried to enhance and to improve the special partnership that Romania has with Poland and Turkey, but uh, the United States' involvement and encouragement for this special partnership is very important, it's essential, and I hope that all three countries will prove always to be 
reliable and important allies of the United States in the, in the region. Duane uh, has just mentioned in an interview that he is very convinced that the ne next president of Romania would be a pro-American and pro-European. And I, I must agree with this. I don't know who is going to be the next president, but I can say that all the important political leaders of Romania, they are committed pro-European and pro-American politicians. There is no monopoly on being pro-American or pro-European. And I think that you will find in the years to come friends and partners in Romania. This is very important. Also, the economic relationship is very important, and we have made important steps. And I will only just underline the roadmap that we have initiated in Washington with the Trade Secretary, and has been adopted by the Romanian government, and we must follow this important economic uh, development. All the, Euro all the American companies have invested a lot of money, and more important, a lot of trust in Romania. And I think that that is going to be proved as a very clever and correct decision. I would just mention that I'm very, I'm very committed to the idea that the new transatlantic investment and trade partnership is going to be signed as soon as possible by the European Union and the United States and Romania is pushing very much in this direction because I think that that will offer a win-win situation for the members of the European Union and for the United States. The message is that US administration and the representatives here have always sent to the Romanian society regarding the importance of rule of law, transparency, combating corruptions, I think these are reasonable and welcome because it's the main interest of Romania to be a transparent a rule of law society. And uh, I'm very glad to see that Vice President Biden, high representatives of uh, the United States administration and the representatives of the United States Embassy have mentioned and praised the improvements in all these areas. And uh, I think that we can follow this positive trend and this positive path. Let me conclude saying a few words about Dwayne Butcher. And uh, just because I want to be very clear, I will say, I know his term will be up soon. I will miss you. I will miss him. I will miss him. It was the, the real quote. But uh, Dwayne, I really mean it. And uh, it's not just because I'm a politician or I want to be polite. I would like to thank you and uh, all the staff of the U.S. Embassy for the excellent relationship that we have had. We have very few disagreements and a lot of agreements. And uh, I'm sure that working together, it makes Romania a better country. I remember very well in December 2012, when the Ambassador Gites team left uh, Romania, I said that Romania has won a new important friend. I can bet that way it's, uh, it's going to be a great friend of Romania and he will always be happy to come back in Romania, maybe in another position, because we were joking that he's going to be at interim forever. But uh, I hope that uh, I hope that his country is going to have the same opinion that I do, that uh, he has done an excellent job and he has served his country but also Romania in the same way. I would just say once again that uh, the way you left the country in a better, much better situation than you came here, I'm sure you will find it even better and I'm sure that all the next events that we will attend together will simply say that Romanian and American relationship is better because our two countries are better. God bless America and God bless Romania. Thank you very much.